Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. So today we are going to see the impact of urethane on a house shot. So now let's get lined up with a reactive resin ball. Then we're gonna throw the 20 shots of urethane. Then we're gonna go back to the reactive resin to see what happens. So we're lined up with the reactor ball and sliding around 30 and getting the ball around 19, trying to get it out like, like seven or eight. So now we're gonna throw the urethane ball and see what happens. So what I think is gonna happen it's definitely gonna be way tighter down lane because urethane usually stretch out the oil instead of like just taking it it's just gonna uh, push it through the lane so definitely the back ends are gonna be way tighter and the fronts are gonna be hooking more so but we'll see Alright guys, we got 20 shots in with the urethane. Now we're gonna go back to the reactive ball and see how it goes. Well, definitely more push down the lane. Pretty decent shot of my hand. Push a little bit more. Almost tripped the tube. I tripped the tube in. My adjustment, I'm just gonna move. I'm gonna try to get to the friction earlier so I'm just gonna move my feet left and keep it the same and see if I can get can get that done. Alright that was a pretty good shot right there. I move four boards with my feet, keep my target the same so I could send the ball to the right quicker, seeing the friction earlier and getting taking advantage of the fresh hole. There is a steel on the left side a little bit and it looked pretty decent. I didn't have any any push like we saw on the last shot, so let's do it again. That was the second shot. It looked pretty good. It looked pretty good. Definitely more angle, have decent ball reaction. All right guys, so the moral of the story is that when there is carry down because of urethane on the lane, you just gotta take more advantage of the friction there is, you know, try to get away of the urethane a little bit, and you should be fine. Uh, sometimes it's more on our heads. I think it's easier, you know, to, when you, we see someone throwing urethane, you're like, oh, we, we need to do something crazy, but sometimes we just gotta, we just gotta bowl and try to figure it out instead of complaining or, whatever else we like to do as bowlers. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this video helps for next time you face some transition due to urethane. And let us know in the comments how, what your experiences has been. Because of course, every time is different. Sometimes you're gonna face different kind of transition. And let us know what you wanna see, what new videos want, want us to do. And I'll see you guys on the next one.